India is one of the largest film producers in the world. Indian films have their own flavor of song and dance, for which it is well known world over. There is a strong drive here to reach on par with the world cinema. There are a few international film schools in India, which are highly reputed for quality cinema education and its infrastructure. Students here watch a lot of world cinema and dream of being a part of it. But with the reality of Indian cinema industry, mostly these dreams are left unfulfilled or shattered too easily. We, being film students ourselves, wanted to know what our fellow film students are dreaming of right now. We wanted to know what their plans are. <laughs> what, are what are your plans? <laughs> what, what are your plans? I have no plans. I always wanted to make documentary films, and that is what I am going to do. I don't find any place in Bollywood right now for me. Um, I am planning of studying more because. I guess after this, I don't want to land up in Bombay and you know get into the hectic thing of you know day-to-day -day life. I mean, no, not that. So maybe study more, go to maybe do some PhD, some but stick to cinematography, not like leave it. I want to get into filmmaking, feature filmmaking um, in Telugu film industry, and I also plan to apply it in a um, lot of ad agencies. Let's see. Film school people, uh, uh, importantly, direction students who are supposed to make films, they are not, you know, uh, successful in creating some impact in uh, Indian film industry. People from other departments like camera, editing, and sound recording and such, they manage to do something for their own. But since being technical, they manage to achieve something, but it stops there itself. The, it, has to be the direction student for, and that's what I feel. I, of course, wanted to make films, and I, I, I was one of those guys who really never believed in editing that way. Still, I decided for editing because I thought, let's see, editing will help me to do some market work, you know, some, some work in the industry, and that way it will help me to survive. So I have something to fall back upon, you know, because otherwise direction is too uncertain an area. You never know whether you'll be able to uh, put our director and I'm mean, sorry, a producer or not. Yeah, so that is the thing. That is what we have always done. So we do not really are. Uh, we we pre prefer risk aversion. Money is a very important thing, of course. I mean, people who say that money is not so important. I mean, that's very utopian. But as a matter of fact, you need money. I mean, you can't run away from that fact. You need money to live, to support your family, to earn your bread and butter. And whatever you do, I think money is very important. But again, uh, especially it comes true for the entertainment industry. How commercial should we make it and how artistic should we make it? So I think the clash of between commercial and artistic is a very interesting thing which happens in the media. See, uh, at a film uh, place like film school, you tend to get influenced by a lot of, lot of films and a lot of styles and all. So you get to see a lot of world cinema and all. Here, the freedom is limitless. This, you can do anything you want. You can I mean, do in the sense you can shoot or whatever. And this, uh, you won't hear this word, word called no, which most of the youth never wants to hear. And when you go out, you know, there are a lot of things you have to listen. If you're not ready for that, you suffer. You're suffering. What is being fed to the students is like how to get more practical here in the film school. Like if, if someone, uh, a student is making something alternative, like for instance, a, a professor who is very hellbent on branding himself as an artist, even he can come down and pull you down to the level that these are not the films that, that is, you're going to survive with. And look at the kind of films that are going on in Bollywood. Where is your basic film craft? Where is the three-act structure? Where is the match cut? So all these kind of things like are, are fed into you. There is one kind of a peer pressure group going. So you end up performing for that in your, because as filmmakers face it all, like you are, you are performers. So you, when you say that I'm going to make a Bollywood film, you are catering to an audience. When you are going to make film school projects, you are going to cater to your audience here. So you end up making one kind of projects which, which end up as is a very film school project. 
so you are you are constantly performing for your peer group or for your wide audience whatever talking of me personally when i left ft i need it i made myself a promise that i'll never shoot on video and i'm glad to report that i've kept to that promise so far it's been uh, 17 18 years and uh, there were times when i was not tempted but you know i could have fallen because i didn't earn for 7 8 years i just didn't earn anything and this is before my acting career started so there was really no work no money but uh, i don't know if it was the romance of celluloid or what but i thought uh, i just want to work on celluloid you know, as of now i don't know after 10 years maybe the technology will change enough to uh, to warrant that change in me uh maybe there will be a film which can be done better on a digital medium but if it can't then i'll seek it out because i think if nothing is shooting a film brings in a brings in a rigor you know that is completely absent in this movie there is no rigor you know you shoot this you shoot that you shoot this so and i've acted in some of these things you know so i know uh, we just shoot 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 you know and anything okay you will make something out or this in the editing uh, film is not that kind of medium in when you making a film you start thinking of a shot and i'm interested in that i'm interested in how the camera and the actor and the cameraman and i are uh, dealing with each other you know that the sheer economics of film making which is changing which is very there like people have a computer and they have i mean the same old story that you have a dv cam and you can make films you have access of production you have access of the things with which you can produce but do you have access over distribution and unless distribution happens unless you kind of uh, have uh, at least if not in monetary sense at least you, if you don't have a feedback as to what you are working on how else do you, i mean how do you go ahead i mean do you really keep on making films for yourself uh, which is and not not possible after a point here digital has enabled you actually to go into a cottage industry almost scenario and it has enabled you to do that basically you can actually home produce a film and a film which uh, probably no one will make out to be a home produced film so that is something which has given birth to new negotiations but that cannot be an end in itself that is precisely uh, where from one should be even uh, be very uh, uh, one should hold that also in suspect because as gudar one second to quote him to says that i mean films are made now in the kitchen so uh, i would much rather also live for a world where films are not only made in the kitchen so the booming of digital filming has given birth to new kind of films people have found their own romance in either digital medium or on celluloid as technology is becoming simple and more accessible filmmakers are trying their hands on new kind of subjects The digital medium has also given an audiovisual expression to the youth of today and to the filmmakers of tomorrow.